that of all the environmental issues that our oceans are facing right now, this one is doable. We can solve this problem. It's going to take a lot of time and it's going to take a lot of nations, but we can accomplish it. Here's bag, a bag that we pulled out of the North Atlantic and another one that was washed in on the Bermuda shore and note the bite marks in it. According to the Wall Street Journal, the U.S. goes through 100 billion, that's with a B, plastic shopping bags annually. And of course, that's not including all the other types of bags, the sandwich bags and the, the trash bags that we use. That's an estimated 12 million barrels of oil. We're sampling just one meter of the surface, not even any deeper than a half a foot or half a meter. And yet, this is how much plastic we, we were able to collect. So we compared our results to Carpenter and Smith. Now note that they were sampling the ocean in 1971 for plastic. So we've known about this a long time. And the mean of their sample com samples compared to ours, ours was three times higher. Now if we took a rough estimate of the size of the, the Sargasso Sea, which happens to be the North Atlantic Gyre, we estimate that there is 237,000 tons of plastic in the North Atlantic Gyre. The international law that you are not to dump plastic in the marine environment, but there is no way to please it once you get out beyond the 200 mile point. The bisphenol A is associated with breast cancer as well as um, other types of cancer, testosterone cancer. Charlie Moore had to be the person to say, here's my research and I'm not going to just leave it here, I'm going to take it to the media and I'm going to say, look, this is a problem, we have to fix it. And that has to be the idea with some of the research we're doing is to get it out, what our findings are. Some of the ones that we came up with, and one was having the Boy Scouts Stencil, got your bag in the parking lot. So, you know, it only go a couple of steps when you see that, and you're like, bingo. 11 states in this country that have the redemption bottle where you pay a nickel and then you get your nickel back. And it's a wonderful way to keep plastic out of the, the uh, environment. And yet, the lobbyist group is so powerful that they prevented it from going to any other state.